Uh, well, number one, I think actually there was a bit of a spoiler earlier on. James maybe mentioned them, but it's uh, odds on Edward at Celtic. Obviously, uh, again, just showing how just great a player he is technically. I get. I mean, we've talked the pretty much everybody in this podcast in this episode c- could go to England and play at a higher level. Uh, I'm guessing Stefan, this is somebody else who it's maybe just a matter of time goes somewhere else in Europe and and plays his trade. Yeah. Um, I don't think really anyone's probably surprised that Edward's top of this list. Um, even perhaps the most diehard Rangers fans may be grudged that he's probably one of the best, most exciting players in Scottish football right now. And I, I just, I've just full of admiration for the kid. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, not only is he outstanding for Celtic right now, but the the kind of meteoric meteoric rise that he's had since arriving at the club is impressive too. Um, his stats last season were incredible, 22 goals and 8 assists for a team that had just sold Dembele and had just signed him permanently and very quickly turned around to him and said, right, you're going to have to basically carry this, not carry this team, that's a bit unfair obviously, but you're going to have to fit in and replace this guy who just sold for a huge amount of money, your best pal probably, who you probably miss dearly, um, you're going to have to basically f- become the next Dembele and to be, to be really, really fair to him, I think that's exactly what he did. And uh, even this season, he's got 27 goals and 19 assists. Um, his uh, the, 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 sheer, the, the thing, I mean, obviously this is probably going to come down to a Morelos and an Edward thing. And I, I, I kind of wanted to mention this when we were talking about Morelos, but obviously didn't want to try and spoil what was coming up, even though it was obvious. But in terms of Morelos, I think the thing, the, the one thing that really seems to deflate the, the, the interest or the buzz around him is that he's just really unfortunate he's arrived in Scottish football maybe the one time or maybe not the one time because maybe Dembele would be in the same case but he's arrived at a point when there's just one player who's slightly better than him and who plays in the exact same position on him. and I think that's probably the best way to sum up it's odds on Edward in my opinion he's he's basically just a wee bit better than Ed, uh, Morelos who in himself is an exceptionally talented player um what really stands out to me in terms of Edward that kind of puts him above Morelos, in my opinion, is that although their goal scoring is almost identical, Edward's basically he's basically putting up twice as many assists uh, for his team per season. Um, he's he's got nineteen assists to his name this season to Morelos' is ten. Um, he's basically averaging an assist every three games in the Premiership this season. He's fourth in the division for key passes. Um, which works out about 0.83 per game. Morelos is about 0.52, so again, by no means bad and actually quite incredible for a striker, but just not as good as Edwards. Um, and we're basically talking about a player here who I, I, I honestly think he is better than Dembele, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. I know they are actually a wee bit different. Um, I actually think maybe Dembele and Morelos is probably a better comparison in terms of how they both play the game, but um, I think Edward has everything... Um, that you'd want from not only a goal scorer but a forward who can maybe play in either wing as well I think that's maybe why he's so appealing to certain clubs in Europe that he can play as an inside forward probably on that left hand side as well just as well um, and I actually think you know if Celtic can keep him happy and make sure he doesn't run down any contracts I feel expect him to be moved on for more than Dembele if I'm being honest with you and I think as Dembele has shown in Ligue 1 how he's just totally let that up without much effort I, th- I fully expect Edward to maybe go to a league like that, maybe in the Premiership or, or sorry, the Premier League or the Bundesliga or whatever. And I think he'd hit the ground running too because um, he's he's showing right now at the at just twenty two years old how outstanding a player he is. James, is it Stefan? Obviously touched on it there. Is it just in terms of also his sheer consistency of being involved in a goal in some way, whether it's scoring it, whether it's an assist, whether it's a secondary assist, is that? What's so impressive, obviously, I think it's that high technical ability that, and maybe natural talent, you actually can't teach to a certain extent. But is is it because it come down to just sheer consistency and b- being there at the right time when Celtic need them? Yeah, I think in part. Um, you know, you could probably count the amount of bad games Edwards had for Celtic this season on one hand. You know, I think he's like you say, he is remarkably consistent. But for me, the thing that really just stands out about Edwards. When you see him playing this, particularly this season, it's just that he is just a class above everyone else in this league, in my opinion. Like I think he's a phenomenal player. Um, you know his ball control is is just ridiculous. Like he's just got like the the natural talent that he has is you know it's just ludicrous. I think he's an f- absolutely phenomenal player. Uh, you know obviously his close control of the ball, his feet is amazing. 
you know, his goal scoring is amazing, his composure as well. Like, and I think people forget about that. Like, you know, also that's more of a, a sort of mental attribute, I guess, rather than a, a technical one. But he is just so cool, so composed, and he always turns up for Celtic. Always, you know, he's the sort of player who you can give them the ball at his feet, and you know, it's no surprise if he then just drives the ball fifty yards, beats a couple of players on the way, and scores. You know, he's just. A, a absolutely wonderful player and he's another guy who could play f- in my opinion could play for you know just about anyone bar a few of the like, absolute super clubs like, you know right now I think if you know, there, there are very few teams in the world right now who if they bought him say this summer for example I would be surprised that you know they'd made a move I think that he's an outstanding player um, I remember actually one, one of the lines that a colleague of mine Alison McConnell once wrote about him that really stuck with me was that He's just a player so skillful that he could nutmeg a mermaid, and I, I just think you know, that sort of sums up. You know, like it's it's close control. Like you know, like the, you can have he's one of these guys who so could have his back to goal, you know, with like two or three players surrounding him, and he'll still either manage to find a way to get through, or you know, to just pick out a teammate who can then just tap the ball into you know a virtually un- unguarded goal. I, I I think he's a phenomenal player. Like like Stefan says, you know, obviously he's got his goals. He's one of the top assists. Uh, He's one of the assist leaders in the league. He's also joint in first for secondary assists in the league. Uh, key passes, yeah, he's third. And interesting, actually, that he's, in terms of touches in the box, uh, per 90 in the league this season, he's third with averaging 6.6. Uh, and he's behind Jermaine Defoe, who averages 7.14, but that's maybe to be expected because he's sort of seen as that penalty box kind of poacher. But then you've got Morelos, who averages 8.5 as well. And I found that actually quite surprising because I think I would have expected Edward to have more touches in the box than any other player. But I think that maybe pays testament to the fact that he often gets the ball, you know, maybe 25 yards from goal and then just sort of drifts into the box or, you know, holds it up and then finds a teammate. And I think that, I just, yeah, I think he's an exceptionally talented player. He's one of the best players I've ever seen play in Scotland. Um, And I think... Yeah, sky's the limit for him. I'm, I'm just delighted that he's still here and he's a pleasure to watch. Yeah, I mean, a couple of things. Stefan, I mean, the fact he's only 22 and he turned 22 this year, I mean, I'm looking at his date of birth, it's 1998. I remember 1998 vividly, so the fact he's that young is disgusting for a start <laughs> and he's that good. And, and again, I know this is maybe an argument or something that's been covered before by, by us in the pod, but also uh, other people in, in the Scottish football landscape. How, how does he compare to Dembele? Because it's something that when a few when Celtic fans or the media come out and praise him, saying, oh, he's the best Celtic player for blah, 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 amount of time, people are, Celtic fans a lot of the time are quite quick to correct and say, you know, Dembele was better. What do you think, Jink? He's the same level as Dembele or has he got a bit of developing to do? Or is it just that they're two very different players and it's kind of apples and oranges? I mean, if you actually looked at the stats, I actually think they're quite comparable. I think Dembele maybe slightly edges it in terms of goal scoring, but... I I just think I think James actually hit the nail on the head when he said you know he just looks like a, a class above everyone else in the league and as good as Dembele was for Celtic and as good as Morelos currently is for for Rangers I think that's maybe the key thing Edward just drifts by people like they're not even there uh, he scores goals like he's hardly paying attention um and he just and he, and you know if Celtic can't really um, break into a box he'll pull back and he'll score a goal on the edge of the box and I really hope I'm not kind of overstepping the mark here but I think if you really wanted to talk about how good a player is I think you have to go back to your Henrik Larsons and your loud drops and stuff in terms of the kind of potential he has because we are talking about a player here who if he continues to get bit as good he is I mean he's already maybe at the level where as James said he's probably better than everyone else in the league and he's only just turned 22. So if you maybe fast forward that two or three years say, and, and say he doesn't get swooped up by a bigger club, you're talking about a guy who's only going to become even more better than everyone else in the league. And, you know, if you want to say Henrik Larsson was this incredible talent for Celtic who got into a, Euro, a, Euro, a UEFA Cup final, I don't have any doubt that Edward could do that for Celtic right now. Um, in terms, I mean, obviously they'd need to maybe ride the luck if they come up against much bigger teams who drop out of Champions League and stuff. And I know... Celtic standing in Europe because of financial disparity isn't what it was back then but I honestly think you're talking about a player of that calibre or a player who could become of that calibre um, and if he, if, if he does what he's doing right now for Celtic for another two or three years 
um, and then he moves on to a Man United or Arsenal, whatever have you. I, I honestly think that's the kind of company he would keep in the hearts of Celtic fans, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, another thing that obviously maybe adds to that is his record against Rangers in old form games. I know I just said 10 minutes ago that it doesn't really matter when I, compare, when I look at Morelos, but I think in terms of, in Edward's case, and the reputation that he will have when he eventually leaves Celtic, I think that's something that will really endear him to fans. Um, we've seen him almost single-handedly win old form games for Celtic when Rangers seem to have really clock Celtic's tactics. Um, and I honestly, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm probably just running out of things to describe him with, to be perfectly honest with you, but um, the sky's the limit for this kid, and I, I think he could really put himself up there with some of the best players I've ever played in Scotland before he does move on. We'll just leave it there then, unless there's anything else you'd like to add, James. Uh, just, just to add that I did write a piece um, sort of tail end of last year, um, looking into you know, doing the whole uh, Dembele v Edward debate and looking at the taking the stats from when they were the same age, and they were largely similar for the most part, with Edward sort of nudging ahead for the most part. But the two things that really stood out to me were Dembele's goals in Europe where he didn't score as many. Now, obviously, Edwards played a lot of Europe League football, so that helps, but generally, um, Dembele scored a handful of goals in European football, whereas Edwards has been banging them in consistently. And the other thing that really stood out for me was match-winning goals, where as of November um, last year, Edward had scored more match-winning goals than Dembele had, and that was having played fewer games. So I think that and obviously that's, that tally's only increased as the season's gone on. Um, so yeah, I, just, I think that Edward is a game changer for Celtic in every sense of the word. And personally, I think, yeah, he looks, he looks a better player than Dembele. And I think he'll go on to have an immense career. And like Stefan says, I think he might be one of those guys who in you know, 10, 15, 20 years down the line, we look back and just say, it was just a, you know, a privilege to have him in Scotland because I think he's a phenomenal talent. I really do.